Welcome back, Drone Tech here. Have you ever noticed how the just the facts, truth-based news media always pump up and support Republicans who go against their party? They use a lot of positive adjectives to describe these people, words like courageous and maverick, people like Romney or Liz Cheney or John McCain. Hell, even the example of Maverick given on dictionary.com is a fiscal conservative willing to raise taxes, which is right in line with the Democrat state media's agenda of keeping Democrats in power. The more people you can pull away from your opposition party to help you, the better. They've been doing this for at least the last 20 years, leading to embarrassing media segments like these. I'll reform the corrupt campaign finance system that is that is having such pernicious effect uh, in Washington. Well, however brave a stand campaign finance reform may be, members of your own party have rejected it. What's the matter with them? Why don't they get it? <laughs> Said he has this remarkable appeal. He's a down the line conservative. He's voted for every item of the contract for America. And yet he has this appeal uh, to centrists and even some liberal Democrats in many but ways. He is evolving. A lot of Democrats say a dream ticket would be if John Kerry would reach across the aisle, take you as a vice presidential candidate. It's hard to imagine. They'd have to be uh, taking some steroids, oh, I but, think. But, but, but let, me, let, me let me imagine <laughs> that it was done. Seven years of talk about repeal and replace done in one hand gesture. Probably much was made of that yeah. moment, a moment of moral courage, a man staring down his own mortality yet again, not the first time in his life. Uh, but let's also talk about the courage of Murkowski of Alaska and Collins of Maine, because without those two women, there is no moment like that for John McCain. My question to you, is that kind of courage for people uh, cheering them on going to be contagious? He has prided himself over a very long career on being somebody who takes courageous stance. Mika. Yep, uh, it certainly was a McCain moment. Tonight, voting his conscience over his party. The Mitt Romney decision is a fascinating one for this reason. He is now the president of the Republican resistance to Donald Trump. He put politics aside. That was a true profile and courage speech yeah. we just heard. That was the sound of a man who'd wrestled with his conscience, who tried to think bigger than partisan politics. I could go on and on, but you get the point. Now let's see how the exact same media treats Democrats who put partisan politics aside and courageously stand against their own party. So what can Senator Manchin say other than the fact that he is an extremist? Him and Senator Cinema are extremists and anybody that's hiding behind them are extremists. Any minute now, the Senate is expected to begin a series of votes on voter protection legislation, which is expected to fail teeing up Majority Leader Chuck Schumer's plan to move forward with a vote on a proposed filibuster rule change. That too is likely to fail, since conservative Democratic Senator and professional coal baron Joe Manchin, in the tradition of the Bonnie to his Clyde, Kirsten Sinema, preempted that effort earlier this afternoon. Look, the people like Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema, these are the white people that Martin Luther King Jr. warned us about. This is a, a war, this isn't a battle, and we absolutely will win this war. It is a war. It is indeed a war. And I have to say, they have won some battles, Jasmine, but we, we have to keep our eye uh, on the war and, and everybody needs to pick up a weapon and, and get involved. Please stop whining about bipartisanship. First of all, bipartisanship means appealing to the other side, not joining it. And when it comes to voting, there's only one side. Republicans are the ones waging war and democracy. You can't compromise with the side that's doing the damage. <laughs> between the moderates and the progressives, because he was really on track to be the next Lyndon Johnson mm -hmm. with the Great Society programs. But Manchin and Cinema are standing in their way. Especially Cinema. They call themselves Democrats, and they will be the ruination of this nation. Those two. These people are destroying the country, in my opinion. Democrats lose. The Republicans, who are so corrupt right now, and we all know that, they will move in. Trump will run in 2024. He might win because of all the cheating that's going on. You, we cannot let this happen. Trump must be brought to test.
They are the enemies right now of the of the democracy. You got that? The only way to save the democracy is for Democrats to be in permanent power with no political opposition or roadblocks to whatever policy they want to enact. It's just so disturbing that our so-called fourth estate, the supposed check on power, only really cares about keeping their political opponents out of power. And apparently to convince the public that so-called democracy is just one party Democrat party rule with no political opposition. All right, folks, just wanted to give you a quick insight into how just utterly corrupt our so-called free press has become in service of the Democrat party. They are literally the threat to democracy they're accusing their opponents of being. As always, if you enjoyed this video, help the algorithm along and help this channel by hitting that like button and leaving a comment to let us know what you think.